Well, hey YouTube, it's PD Two Finger. I'm here in the kitchen and just going to show you a few things. I just finished this. Uh, this is a foot switch. So it's got a TRS, which is this style cable, which I, I built this cable. This is a TRS, so it's a tip ring sleeve, three connectors, three foot switches. How does that work? Well, there's a couple of diodes that come into play. And this is all courtesy of a guy by the name of Paul Morrissey at DIYGuitarist.com. That's where I got this diagram for this which it was for a Digitech Trio. Now, uh, it's the same type of foot switch for this Donner Circle Looper, which is a drum machine slash looper pedal. It's cheap. Um, it does what it does well, the looper syncing to the drum machine feature. The drum machine, eh, it's kind of limited. You know, they give you like um, disco and different categories of drum beats, and oochie, oochie, stuff that I would, I don't foresee my, myself using. But I did want to use the foot switch, so I put this together. There's a couple of diodes, uh, 1N4001 or 1N4148. Uh, that are wired into this configuration, which enable it. And, you know, I got to tell you, when I first assembled it, I, I had it wrong. Because the diagram shows you the layout of the switching for the Digitech Trio. Which is record up and down. Now the switching system is the same as far as the schematic goes, but its functionality on this different pedal is different. It's mode down and up, not record up and down. So I had painted my, I went all the way through with it and painted it, which basically this is a little, it's a parts bin, it's a plastic parts bin that had a lip on it and I used the snips to snip that all off of there and I ended up with a big sore pad in my palm because I had done another project earlier that day. Uh, it's quite a bit of snipping with this hand tool. So yeah, it's uh, wired it up. I had the, this was over here. I ended up flip-flopping it because it was completely um, wired incorrectly for the uh, it would, the circuit layout is for the Digitech FS3X and this is not Digitech, this is a Circle Looper. Now I saw uh, an auction where they were selling a Digitech Circle Looper <laughs> with, uh, I've been drinking my, my <laughs> mighty fine homemade lemonade. Uh, uh, and they were selling it with the Digitech foot switch. So I assumed, oh yeah, it'll work. I got the schematic, built it, and it does work. It does work just fine but you uh, don't uh, b build it first then label your foot switching and you may wish to uh, flip it around if you want the mode to be on the left so yeah that's the the digitex circle looper and i also made this nice custom cable for it and you know while i'm doing it while i'm in here working i will often i will see something like my my these are my smaller wood screws and uh, these sit up on top of the cabinets and they've been up there for 20 years and we deep fry a lot so they were nasty so i was like oh let me clean that up you know and then it's like three hours later and i'm like ah, scrubbing all of my and then like organizing so with the past ever since like a week before the fourth of july i've just been kind of going nuts and like i got i had this See that picture there? No. Two by four or two by or two by four, and then uh, all in one -er. So this is what we ended up with. Um, I built these today. I stopped over at um, the industrial park uh, dumpsters where they have some cabinet companies and pick up pick up scrap wood stuff, little pieces of wood, and then. Um, with some Elmer's glue and some gloss black Walmart spray paint. So these are uh, little bits that spade. I I really don't know what these are called. They they help to countersink. And then this I got this from Harbor Freight, I think. And you get these little mini blades, and this will help you. That one's got some schwitz on it. This will. Um, it's for cutting plastic like turning your drill into a little ripsaw. 
And then these are quick change bits, which this one is not true at all. It's like, wow, wow, wow. It kind of goes crazy. And I think I need to get a drill bit sharpener for some of these. I don't know if that's a tool that works, but I they, they came with nothing to hold them. And uh, believe it or not, I've got another set of Forstener bits that we made. Let me grab it. We made another one of these. I was like, oh, I should make one of those for my Forstener bits. And I did already. So here, let me go ahead and show you that one. Um, this was... I did this yesterday, and this piece of wood, it's got a cut in it, and then there was this knot. I'd had this piece of wood for years, and it had some pre-drilled holes in the top. It had some little holes drilled in all, and it kind of caved out, gave up the ghost in there a little bit. But I have had this piece of wood for so long, and it was like I was saving it for something special. It had this tongue, and I used a... Uh, couple of C-clamps to compress it when I put the Elmer's glue on there. And of course it compressed, that tongue closed up. It was kind of comical. Was, hey, look at that. But uh, yeah, these are uh, four center bits. And then here's the um, cham chamfer bits or spade. I really don't know what those are called. And then this mini saw rig. Turn your Dremel or your uh, Hey, that looks like the Willy Wonka with the foam shooting out of the front. And then this one is the uh, Hujima Collets. So yeah, that's... Um, I remember one guy making a comment that what I do of building my little modules and things that are supposedly helpful, that he had a complete, like, he was like, you are of a different approach, like, I would never. Like, meaning that this is a waste of time. That me, like, as I work, you know, my wife gets frustrated with me, too, because I'm in here to do X project, and then I'm getting carried away, like, oh, these, this needs to be fixed, or, hey, I could hang a bunch of hooks, and then we could hang flashlights, or um, brushes. I like to use paint brushes to, for debris. You, you wipe the debris on the ground and then you sweep the ground up and then it's like your work area is clean. So if I start hanging hooks like a towel razor and all these flashlights and br br brushes and picks and you know pokey tools are hanging, you know it looks kind of like uh, Ed Gein. <laughs> like what's next? A, a lampshade made out of a human face? So I, I, I start go, getting goofy with that stuff, and uh, I don't know, it, it, it's it's part of my personality as a tinker or person who likes to, you know, if you would have told me when I was growing up, like, when you get older, you'll be, you'll be doing this stuff, I never would have believed you. I never, like, to me, I like, stuff like this was black magic. Like, for in order for you to do something like this, you had to sell your soul to Satan. And it's like, it's as easy as grabbing a couple pieces of wood, putting glue on it with a clamp for a half hour, spraying it black after you've drilled 16 holes in it. It's, you know, it's, and there's a, there's a thing on the back of the drill to tell you if you're, if you've been, how much you've been drinking. So it's, you know, I, it's really, it's all perception. Like people look at electronics and they're like, I, I don't have the mind for that. Like, you need some, like, I was born with a special mind. Like, in electronics, there's two things, okay? Positive and negative. Don't mix them up. That's the extent of the electronics training here. But, yeah, I thought this was interesting to have this little, this picture here, this one here, and then, ba 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 There it is in real life. It manifests itself. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. And my clean screws, I got uh, my roar at the end when I'm done. And a little bit of this, natural, the way to go. And I'm happy boy. So we're going to go watch uh, probably season four of Stranger Things. I'm going to have a little beverage. We made, we made, uh, we, we went out and got some chicken thighs and got to cook the, one of those in the air fryer. And then it was two cans of condensed cream of chicken soup, a whole giant thing of rice, a little bit of lemon juice, and then a bunch of black pepper. 
And like when you make the, the chicken soup, I think you put in extra uh, milk to make it a little bit so it's not so thick. And then they cut up that chicken and put it in there minus the skin. So that's like, I don't know, we used to have this restaurant, st Greek restaurant, family style restaurants, and they would serve this cream of chicken soup that I, I just absolutely loved. And my mom was like, I tried to make it here and it didn't come out the same. And yeah, it is a little different, but you know what? I still really like it. So we scienced that today. That was something I've wanted to do for a soup or soup. Like my whole life, I wanted to make this chicken soup. And finally, tonight, Gomti made it for me. And then we have uh, science uh, chick zoopies. <laughs> and uh, Kita was in the big boy soupies club. I put the ladle down and he had a little licky treat. And he was like, he was going to town. Kita is a soupy boy. And then um, this here is, uh, this is lemon peel that has been doused in citric, powdered citric acid. And it's liquefying all that good lemony flavor is coming out. So it's a mixture of citric, it's about 15 grams of citric acid, about 8 grams of malic acid in there. And after that has sat for about two hours, we will throw it in a plastic tall boy cup and then use an immersion blender to grind it, run that through a sieve or a sifter, like a strainer. A strainer. And then that's the lemon end of the concentrate that I use, which is, it's about a cup and a half of uh, cane sugar that I, uh, I'll make like a simple syrup with that. You know, put a cup of water in a pan, heat it up, throw the sugar in there, and then dissolve it. So then, uh, pretty much, we've got that prepared here. This is the, the sugar water. And after we uh, process this, which is you pulverize it and strain it, uh, the juice of these two um, lemons. lemons will be added to that mixture, strained and added to this, and then they fill up the rest with water. Then what you end up with is like a concentrate. So you fill about a third of your glass up with that and then add water or sparkling water. And that is the best drink. It is so unbelievably good. I cannot tell you how good it is. But uh, yeah, these gloves, I get these from um, Dollar Tree. They recently, they, they've got, there's uh, some up there. Yeah, I got these ones over here. They're a um, they're dollar and a quarter now. It's no longer a dollar, it's a dollar and a quarter tree. But like these are ones for uh, caustic liquids. And uh, I've been wearing these to protect my hands when I'm uh, working because I end up digging metal slivers and shit out of my hands every time I do these projects. So I've been trying to remember to put these gloves on. So yeah, that's what's going on. I, um, oh, key to Bobby. Do you, do you want more soupies in the soupies club? Oh, Kita doesn't like the daddy, but he loves the mama. Kita. Hi, baby. Hi. Yeah, I told you you like the mommy. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining me for this one here in the kitchen. Um, I got I took two guitars into the luthier, and I got my Les Paul back, so I will be talking about that, and hopefully get the Court 45 and the Colts Art back in playable condition. So I'm super stoked about that. Um, we got the mini rig, micro rig, we're going to be making music with that, maybe filming a little bit of that, and then this, learning how to do uh, live looping. And hopefully the weather's going to uh, cool and we're going to be good. Now, uh, good to go with more uh, remotes doing live music. And I still have music from the last remote. I still have, we, we did a bunch of good takes, so look for more of that. Coming up in the near future, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be in the mood to film. I've been feeling like crap. Um, and that's from pushing it. So the plan is stop pushing it. I got a family thing coming up, uh, kind of a big deal, uh, colonoscopy, which is a couple of days of preparing my body and fasting and then drinking this fluid. And then I go in and they knock me out and uh, aspirate me. So I got that to look forward to. I should be back in action. I should probably, I don't know how many videos I'll be making in the, in the near, uh, up until like uh, the 10th of August. I probably won't be around so much. So this is a farewell. It's a adieu.
not farewell. It's I will see you soon. Wish me good luck, luck on the colonoscopy. It's nothing to joke about. If you're uh, my age, make sure you go in and get that taken care of. It can save your life. All right, you guys. As you just saw, torture your pets. Try to stay cool and peace.